The 2025 Audi Q6 e-tron is more than an electric midsize luxury SUV. It represents the future of Audi and of the larger Volkswagen Group both mechanically and spiritually. Audi has not been living up to its potential in recent years, and the Q6 embodies a renewed commitment to the brand's longtime mantra of Vorsprung Deutsch Technik, which is a rallying call for progress and leadership through technology. Getting here wasn't easy, and the Q6 e-tron series had a challenging birth. The five-passenger Q6 e-tron and the high-performance Square 6 variant will be the first vehicles to market on the premium platform electric PPE, a scalable architecture for EVs with sophisticated software to make future vehicles even more digital and easier to update and upgrade. It also means for now, the Audi Q8, GT, and Q4 e-tron models all utilize different platforms. While Audi took the lead on the development of PPE, Working with Porsche, it relied on Carriad, Volkswagen's software division, for the electronic architecture known as E3 1.2, a key enabler. And it has not been a smooth ride, developing your own software is hard, as multiple automakers have discovered. That's why we waited longer to see the Q6 e-tron. And other vehicles have also waited to launch on PPE, including the 2024 Porsche Macan EV. Audi says the vehicle is a go, and carried officials say the software is customer ready. With the Q6 e-tron global reveal today, order books will open in Europe for deliveries this summer. In North America, orders for the Q6 e-tron Quattro and Square 6 e-tron will likely be taken in the fall for delivery in December. The all-wheel drive models launch first, with an entry-level rear drive version to follow later in the model year for American customers. Europeans will get two rear drive options with an extra version focused on efficiency.